An introduction to learning groups. Learning groups are study groups for people to learn a specific topic together, often around a self-paced course and without a trainer or teacher. With light facilitation, the group sets attainable goals and a timeline for progressing through the material at the same pace. Learning groups provide a collaborative environment that has many benefits to all involved. The potential to increase motivation, enhance the material with broader perspectives, and boost confidence to apply the learning. In a learning group, members keep each other motivated and on track. They help each other set attainable goals together and encourage each other to connect the learning to practice. The social bonds formed as a community of learners increases their motivation to learn. When a learning group is organized in a workplace context, it allows for adaptation and direct application of the learning to that workplace. Real learning does not occur until it is applied in the actual setting or situation for which the skill or knowledge is needed. Learners who are applying their new knowledge to the same setting can support each other and provide constructive feedback. Learners in a group share ideas and insights, exposing each other to new perspectives and solutions. They acquire a common language about the topic, which helps them find the local relevance and answer each other's questions about the topic. With peer support and constructive feedback, learners boost each other's confidence in applying what they are learning to their work. They have greater motivation to put learning into action, and they have the group with which to share reflections on what worked and what could be improved. As one learning group participant put it, I think we learn best from our peers. They motivate us and provide the spark to try new things. What then is the role of the facilitator? It's important to understand that learning group facilitators are not teachers and are not expected to be subject matter experts with correct answers on the topics. The primary role is to convene and coordinate the group, guide discussions, and keep the group on track with the agreed upon learning schedule. The facilitator models good learning habits, fosters connections among members, and generally helps to cultivate an environment in which learning and sharing among participants lead to desired outcomes. In the role of a co-learner, the facilitator is learning the course material alongside of their group members. That is, viewing all the course content, such as instructional videos, and doing the activities and assignments. In terms of facilitation, this person has added responsibilities to organize and monitor the group, but in terms of learning, they are on the same level as anyone else in the group. Learning groups can also be organized by someone like a trainer or supervisor where the facilitator doesn't necessarily learn the content along with the group. In this case, the facilitator will need to get a high-level overview of the course syllabus, scope, and structure in order to plan the learning sequence, timing, and group meeting schedule. They will also need to scan the course to get an idea of the topics covered, the sequence in which they are presented, the nature and time requirements of the materials, and the applied learning activities. You can be an effective facilitator. The URL on the screen will take you to Web Junction's Facilitator Guide, which has tactics and tips for success, along with logistics information and handy checklists for planning your group's learning path.